Hi Cancers, it's Trishna and it's time for your June reading. Sun, Moon and Rising. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Also know that energies can be mirrored. Let me just give the deck a shuffle. And let's get into it. Also, if you would like a personalized reading, you can find me working away in my shop on my Etsy shop at www.etsy.com slash shop slash psychic TS and the description or the link is also in the description box below. So cancers, let's get into it. Cancers, I'm feeling a lot in your energy. I feel like the energy for June for you is very happy, it's very hopeful, but I feel like your energy at this point in time on your journey is one that feels a little more on the hopeless side or on the sad side. Maybe something happened to cause this or maybe it's that nothing has really been happening for you and that's why you're feeling hopeless. It just feels like, should I give up on things? Should I even try anymore? Should I just let go of the things that I want and just move on with life without wanting those things anymore? Maybe I should just forget about the desires that I have. And Cancer, this is an approach that you can take. When we let go of the things that we want, when we give up on something, it often brings our desires to us. If not really fast, then usually within six months at most a year. So, if you want to take this approach, I think that's fine, but Cancer, I feel like if you really want to master life, hold on just a second, let me let Bella out, then the better approach is to not figure out or not go about manifesting things through giving up, not manifest things by getting to this place where things suddenly seem hopeless, but rather figure out how can I desire the things that I want and manifest them. How can I do both? How can I want something and not have to give up and still be able to have that thing? Once you figure that out, Cancer, then life goes so much better. It doesn't mean life is easy because life is full of challenges. If there's one thing that we're all going to experience and nobody on planet Earth, no being of any kind, whether it's a tree, animal, person, no matter what area of life you are in, no matter what your economic status is, if there is two things that you cannot go through life without, if there are two things that are unavoidable, it is death <laughs> and it is trauma. So difficulties will naturally arise because such is earth, such is the duality that we live in at this point in time on humanity's journey. But those pitfalls or those downward swings, they don't have to be that extreme. And we don't have to feel powerless in them. That's the thing that we can change. We can figure out a way to where no matter what is happening to us, number one, we can avoid most of it. And number two, if there are certain things that we just can't avoid, we don't beat ourselves up and think, well, I messed up or I did something wrong. That's why this happened. If I'd done this better, I wouldn't be having this situation. Other people must be manifesting better because their life is going so well and I must have done something wrong or I must just not really understand this stuff at all. And number three, that as you go through challenges, you remind yourself and you know and you stay in your power that I can find my way out of this. I'll give myself a couple days to not feel so good, but honestly, that's all I need. And that might even be more than I need because now I feel empowered. Now I feel like I can actually get things done no matter what's going on around me. So we can avoid a lot of pitfalls. We can learn that we shouldn't beat ourselves up for them. It's going to happen and it happens to everybody. And just because everybody else is doing really well and we're not does not mean that we made a mistake, does not mean that they understand something that we do not, does not mean that we have to go follow them and their advice and how they go about things because something must be faulty with ours. It only means that they're going through a different cycle or a different phase of their cycle, that's all. I'm just move the mic here because my <clears throat> computer deciding to be loud. Don't want to capture too much.
much of that in the audio. Okay. And then the third thing is, is when we are in those situations, we know how to navigate it and we feel confident to do so. And we know that our process is going to work every single time. So Cancer, once you figure that out, life becomes so much simpler. That's the only thing is that you haven't figured that out or you have figured it out, but you lose trust when things go downhill and you decide, I guess it didn't work. So when you have a process, almost any process will work so long as you believe that it works and so long as you feel good in that process. If you do a process that somebody else does and it feels weird or you feel kind of embarrassed about it or like it just doesn't feel natural to you, and you don't really want to do it, then that means that it's probably not your process or it's not your process right now. That's all that that means. It doesn't mean that the process itself is faulty. So almost any process can work so long as you feel good about it and so long as you believe in it. The thing is, is you have to believe that the process works not only when things are going well, but also when things are not going well. And you must trust that so long as I continue with this process, everything will turn around because it probably will, because life is a cycle. <laughs> and so sometimes we're on the upswing and sometimes we're on the downswing, but because it's a cycle, we always have to come back to the upswing. So Cancer, if love has not been working out for you, it's just not in the cards for me, Trishna. It's just not gonna happen. I've tried, <clears throat> I've tried everything. I've put myself out there in a variety of different ways, in person, online, blind dates, letting people set me up. I have changed myself internally to try to become a better partner or to fit into somebody else's vision of being a partner. Nothing has worked for me. I've tried being independent and standing my ground. I told you, yeah, it's gonna work out for you. At present, I don't feel like it's gonna happen this month, but your message is it is going to happen for you and I feel like in six months. Anyways, Cancer, you're telling me. Trishna, I've tried everything. I've changed things in the external. I've changed things in the internal. But Cancer, let me ask you, how do you feel about those changes? How do you feel about those changes? Okay, so online dating. How do you feel about online dating? What are your true feelings about that? Do you feel like there's nobody good online. Just people looking for hookups, just people looking for relationships to make or break, just people on a rebound. Do you feel like it's embarrassing to find a partner online? Yeah, I couldn't find anyone for real, so I have to go through a catalog of people and hope that somebody cho chose me from the catalog too. Do you feel awkward about it? Because those are things to resolve. Those are things that might be holding you back from finding the person that you want to be with. It's not really about changing the process, it's about changing how you feel about the process. If online dating seems good to you because it feels like the easiest way, but then you also have feelings that, yeah, it's the easiest way, but also it's not gonna work out, then you have contradictory energy, and of course, you would land almost nowhere, you would be stagnant. So something has to change, either you have to change the online dating and go with something that you believe in that's different, or you have to change how you feel about the online dating. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Personally, I feel like for you, Cancer, better to change your feelings. Because in the example of online dating, for example, online dating does seem really easy. And you want your mind to think it's really easy to find a partner. So if your mind thinks that, then all you have to do is change your feelings. That's the easy part. The hard part is knowing what your feelings are sometimes so that you know what to change. How do you feel about love? And do you want to get married? And if you do want to get married, how do you actually feel about getting married? And if you do want to get married, or however this applies to you, how do you feel about your role in the relationship? So let's talk about this a little bit. How do you feel about relationships and love? Do you feel like they're hard? Do you feel like things start off really well and then they go downhill? Do you feel like there's no one out there that seems right for you? Well, I have news for you, Cancer. You gotta cut out the fairy tale dreamland of relationships. Relationships can have their fairy tale phases. Absolutely, and those can last three months, six months at a time, but it's not always going to be a fairy tale. 
There's going to be moments where it's difficult and it's a struggle. And you will question whether you made the right choice to be where you are, <laughs> right? That's just part of the process. But it's okay to question that because every time you question that and then you come out of it and you come back with, yes, this was the right choice for me, you're ever more strongly committed to that partnership and the relationship grows. Because every time you say yes, again, yes, yes, yes. Or if you say no, that's okay too. What did I learn from this? And also, how empowered am I to be able to walk away from something that isn't right for me? And about marriage, how do you actually feel about it? Do you feel like, oh, it's just what everybody does, it's just what everybody's looking for. Oh, everybody that I date probably just thinks that I'm trying to get with them in that way. Um, I don't feel like I can tell people that that's what I'm looking for because it'll scare them off. Um, do people think that I'm too hungry, too thirsty? How do you actually feel about it? And then actual marriage, how do you feel about actual marriage? Not just what you think people think about you, but actual marriage. Ugh, it's a piece of paper that binds you two together. I want it, but also it feels limiting. So you either have to change the limiting feeling or you have to decide you don't want it. Either approach is fine. I think cancer, you decide with your mind. I do want this. And then you change the feeling. Okay, it's a limiting piece of paper. Sure, it's a binding contract. Sure, but number one, you don't have to be bound for the rest of your life, okay? But let's take that out of the equation. So number two, that binding contract makes it so that we want to work things through. It reminds us that we made a serious commitment and we made the serious commitment for a reason and we owe it to each other and to ourselves to work through whatever it is to the best of our ability and see where we are after that. So it may limit things, but it also enhances things. It also brings the two of you together more strongly. And then how do you feel about your role in marriage? If you are somebody that identifies as male and <clears throat> you think about being a husband, how do you feel about the husband role? Do you feel like there's a lot of weight on your shoulders, a lot of pressure? Do you feel like you don't always really know who you're supposed to be? If you're someone who identifies as female, how do you feel about being a wife? What do you think about that term? Does it feel limiting? Does it feel like you'll be in somebody's shadow now? Does it feel like you'll be forgotten about? Does it feel like you lose a sense of freedom, independence, power in your life? You can have the role that you want. Stick to that if that's something that you want. You don't have to change what you want just because your feelings are different. You can have what you want, but shift your feelings. And if you don't identify as either, then apply it however it applies for you. How do you feel being in a partnership and what you think your role would be? And how do you feel about that role or title? If you don't identify with either gender and are you maybe worried that somebody will peg you as the husband or as the wife because People seem to like to place labels and they can only see things from current labels. Not everybody, obviously. Um, probably not a lot of people in this audience, but some people. So you may worry, I'm going to be pegged as one or the other. And what is your relationship to how you might be pegged? How you might be labeled? Cancer, I think if you explore this over the next month, you will have planted a really powerful seed. You will have planted a seed and it will sprout by the end of the month. What does that mean? It means that you're going to feel lighter about love. You're going to feel more optimistic, happy, and you're not going to need love. And you know what? That's wanting something without needing it. That's wanting a desire without being overly attached, without having to give up to get it. You know what? I think six months from now, maybe five months from now, you're going to meet somebody very special. When you meet that person that's special, just know that some of you, a lot of you are going to question whether they're really the one. Is this really the one? Will I be settling? You're going to get cold feet sooner than you should. <laughs> You'll question. Don't question. You did the work. Allow the universe to bring it to you. Allow yourself to receive cancer. Do you allow yourself to receive?
Or do you run the moment you get something out of fear? This can't be right. This can't be right. You know where that comes from? It comes from overthinking and it comes from thinking you don't deserve the things that you receive, that you get. You don't deserve good things. Because don't you run the most and the fastest when it's something good. You run when it's something bad. That's good. That's good. It's good to be aware of things like that and to run when that's the situation. But I think, Cancer, you run even faster when something is good and you need to cut it out. <laughs> so that is something to explore also, I think month two, so in July. So this month, explore your relationship to love, to the kind of relationship you're looking for, whether it is marriage or friends with benefits, if that's really what you want, not what you're settling for, not what you think you could get, but really what you want. Polyamory, whatever it is, understand your relationship to it. If really what you want is friends with benefits and that's really it, truly, what do you think about that? What do you think other people would think about that? All of that needs to be cleared out. So whatever relationship status or title or type you are looking for, what is your relationship to that? What is your relationship to titles? And clear all of that out. And then month two, clear out this running away from things that are good, wanting to question good things, thinking that they're... I, this can't be right. Clearing all that out, cancers. Um, so this seems like it's, we're using love as an example, but it could also be career. It could be your dream job coming your way and all of a sudden you think, oh no, I'm not cut out for this. Maybe this is even what I wanted. Maybe there's a bunch of things that I wouldn't actually enjoy doing. And uh, maybe there's more of those things that I wouldn't want to do and less of the things that I would want to do. However this applies, this is the lesson. This is the process. You can have the things that you want without having to give up. But it does require being aware of the self, being honest with the self, and clearing that out. Okay, let's take a look here at the cards. All right, Cancer, this is definitely a time when you need to be thinking about things. What is the vision for your life? When was the last time you thought about that? For some of you, it's probably only a few weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, but for others of you, it might have been a few years. You've just been moving forward thinking, I want love, but not really thinking about what that would look like, what the vision is, how that person would fit in your life and how you might fit in theirs. And, you know, I just want somebody I love. And that's okay. That's totally fine. Like, that's a really good approach because you're focusing on the feelings. But this month, Spirit is saying, think about your vision. Think bigger picture. <clears throat> Reflect, hermit. Love wants to come for you and it wants to come from you, for you. <clears throat> with a partner that sees you as an equal. So if you've been in partnerships where that was not the case, either you felt above them or they felt above you, depending on the relationship, maybe some relationships you felt like you were, you were above them and other relationships your partner felt like they were above you, you're going to find somebody that you consider your equal and who also considers you their equal. I do feel cancer with this though, that even though they will consider you equal, you may have some hangups about that. You may think somehow in your personal programming that they don't but they do. So <clears throat> when they show up in your life in about five to six months, if you notice that you feel like, I don't think that they really respect me. Before you have a conversation with them, I would explore that in yourself first and see where that's coming from. And then I would have a conversation with them about that saying, hey, um, I know you respect me. I know you see me as an equal intellectually. I understand that. But I don't always feel that way because and then you share what you have explored and then you two can work things together work things out together. Love wants to come your way. If love comes up this month, I don't feel like it's necessarily going to be long lasting. Now, it could be long lasting. This is not set in stone. Um, it just feels to me like there's some work you have to do. Now, if you're doing this work and you meet them in about three weeks, it could be that that's going to be your person for at least six months. But yeah, and I think you could extend it down the line. As the energy sets right now, that's what I feel. Um, but yeah, so that could go either way. <clears throat> Depends on if you're doing the work or not. Some of this conversation may be agitating you a little bit, stressing you out a little bit. Well, oh my goodness, Trishna, how am I supposed to figure out all these things to clear them out? Trust yourself, Cancer. Whatever comes up is what wants to be cleared out right now. If something doesn't come up and you're like, there must be more, there is not more that wants to come up right now. 
When it's time for you to address them, it will come to mind. But for now, do this exercise. Whatever comes to mind is going to be yours. I think that you can meet your life partner in five to six months. And I think you need to celebrate all the way from now till you meet them. You do the work and you celebrate at the end of the month. Look how far I've come. Next month, you work on the other thing. At the end of it, look how far I've come. August, probably not too much going on, but you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel like your life's moving forward. You're going to feel the energy pulsing and moving forward. Look how good I feel. Celebrate all along the way. What you need, Cancer, is balance. I feel like maybe you've been in a bit of judgmental energy here and maybe counting partners out too quickly because they don't meet every little detail. But remember what I was saying before about fairy tales? There are people who are perfect for you. That exists. But they may not come in your life already seeming, seeming like they are perfect for you. They may trigger certain things in you that are important for your own development and journey. And so they are perfect for you because they're going to grow you. But they may not seem perfect for you all the time because you're like, ugh, I don't want to face that aspect of myself. <laughs> So just be balanced in your approach, Cancer. You should probably listen to your intuition a little bit more when it comes to partnerships and relationships than maybe you have been, Cancer. You may be making those quick judgments without consulting your intuition of what can I gain from this? If the answer is nothing, then you cut them out. If the answer is you can learn about XYZ or you'll grow in these ways, then maybe stick around a little longer and see what happens because even if they're not the appropriate person for you, Whatever you learn through them, once you've learned it, you two will naturally separate. And then you will open yourself up to being able to bring in the partner that's ready for you at the level that you're at. Spirit very much wants to give you love, Cancer. Do not give up on this. If it feels better to give up and forget about it, then by all means do that. Remember, that's an approach that can work. But if you don't want to, then take this as an opportunity to learn how to want what you want and also get it without having to give up. And Cancer, Magician, you are so powerful and you are a very powerful creator. Do not overcomplicate the creation process. There's something that your mind wants. Cool. There's feelings that you have about what your mind wants. Resolve those. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and you will find yourself manifesting your desires. Some things will take longer, that's just how it works. Some things will happen very quickly. Do not measure things in terms of time, measure them in terms of results. You might think, well, if something doesn't show up now, the results are showing that it's not here yet. But that's not what I mean. I mean, in terms of quality of results. You can manifest a partner this month, but based off of your energy, they might not be exactly what you're looking for. They'll be an important part of your journey of growth. By all means, that's great. But manifesting something quickly, if you're not yet ready for it, for the best version of what you're looking for, we can manifest things all day. But it's better if we work on things, work on ourselves, get ourselves to a level where we feel like, yeah, yeah, man, I feel good about this. And then you bring in a partner who's going to be like, that when they enter your life, you'll be like, yeah, I feel good about this person and this relationship because you already feel good about yourself and your relationship to love and marriage and et cetera, et cetera. So Cancer, the power is in your hands even though it does not feel that way. You have all the tools at your disposal. You need only think about your mind and your feelings and align those two things. You can also think about action. I want to get on dating sites, but then also think about that in terms of your mind and your feelings. I want to get on dating sites. Cool. That's what I want to do mentally. Here's how I feel about it. And you align on that. And you will find yourself having more success. Again, give it the five to six months that it deserves. Cool cancer. That was your reading. I very much hope that it served you. Happy June. And I will catch you guys in the next one.